Hello guys, I'm Sridham Mukherjee. I'm a machine learning researcher at Penn State. So here's something I have built uh, with Llama 3 and pix 2 text um, So you can upload, so in current meta a.ai, uh, you know, uh, the whole paradigm, you cannot solve or upload, uh, like solve a problem by uploading an image. You have to upload text. And that's kind of hard because uh, all the options to convert the image into text, uh, online usual options are paid. Uh, but there is a free option out there, pix to text So what I have done is I have simply, uh, yeah, you know, converted like or mixed the pix to text the free library of version in Python and the Llama 3 in Python to make an app so that you can upload a text in the internal lead uh, kind of converts into LaTeX and then gives output of the LaTeX, um, like the solution with some prompts that I have made. Um, I will upload the GitHub code. Uh, please feel free to use it. Let's now look into how it works. So I upload an image. I hope it doesn't crash down. So I upload an image and let's see. So it's working. I will fast forward it towards its solution. When it's done, it takes like one or one to 1.5 minutes. Um, the good thing is that here, um, it, uh, it actually uh, shows you the problem. This is important because it needs to show you the problem. And I have made this in a way that it shows you the problem that it's doing correctly. Uh, of course, it's not doing correctly. There are some, uh, you know, weird characters out here. Uh, so you should check that this is doing correctly. Um, like this, this is doing, uh, like changing the text into an you know, image into LaTeX correctly. But in the meantime, it's it's kind of fun to see how um, this picture text works mostly right. But yeah, also this option C is not fully there. So yeah, there's some errors and of course you will get wrong answers due to this. So, but this is fun. This is actually fun to see that you can do something out of it. I'm, I'm sure it's not perfectly all right. In the meantime, it will give the uh, output and the fun part about the output by the Llama 3 is kind of, uh, it gives you in LaTeX code, which is which can visualize live in this whole app. Uh, you can see the LaTeX stuff out there, so which is fun. So um, I will. I'm just now again fast forwarding it to the part where it will give the solution. So that's great. So you can see it gives the step-by-step -step solution. Uh, that's how it's written out there. Of course, this is not correct. I think uh, the the you can see the token size has increased. Uh, so that's why it's not showing. But you can see it's giving pretty good uh, way of understanding the solution. Of course, it's not perfectly all right. It shouldn't be, but it's it's pretty fun. So this is what I wanted to tell you guys. You can try the try this app out and show it to you guys. I'm very excited about large language models and its applications. And I'm so excited to see all other applications coming up. So I hope it, it, it helps you in some way. Uh, so to increase the token size, I will show you to you how to increase the token size. So if you go to this uh, final app where uh, the, the code I will share to you, there is a place call this the number of tokens you can see 1200 you should increase it 2000 or whatever it is and let me briefly explain it to you how this thing work this thing work uh, so you i load this whole uh, model and stuff so uh, so i take this image input i convert it into uh, you know the latex formula inline formula and i give this prompt and what I did is that I add, add this prompt as an input and I gave this instruction, solve this problem step by step in LaTeX, write the mathematics using the format of this LaTeX dollar LaTeX dollar for inline mathematics. And then it gives the corresponding other fixed parameters. But as you can see, the maximum number of tokens is very important. Uh, that is very visible uh, in this example. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching till the end. And please feel free to use the GitHub code I will upload. And thank you. Stay tuned and stay blessed. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.